Hi everyone, my name is Katie Gibbons, I'm a senior lecturer here in history at the University of Portsmouth. This short video is just to give you a bit of information about the sort of graduate careers that our history students go on to develop. The main point to remember I think about a history degree is that it can take you in many different directions. It's not a vocational degree, you don't um, undertake a history degree to train yourself for one particular career. Instead, in the course of doing a history degree, you train yourself um, in a way that makes you really attractive to lots of different graduate employers. On this slide here, I've included a quote um, from a very recent report by the British Academy, um, which is really making this point about humanities graduates, including history graduates, um, about how well placed they are to, um, to be resilient, to be flexible, to be successful in our current ever-changing and quite challenging um, graduate job market. Um, and a huge variety of different sorts of areas that history graduates go on to. The image on the right is obviously a pre-pandemic image, but it's an event that was held, um, organised by our own history students, by the History, um, the history Society. Um, which was a, a graduate careers fair um, where they had the opportunity to network with a whole range of different employers and also to talk to alumni about the um, careers that they've developed. If you'd like to read more about the British Academy report, um, the, the link is there for you to follow. So what are these wide range of um, graduate careers? This slide gives you a few examples of some of the things that our recent graduates over the last few years have, have gone into the sorts of jobs, careers that they've built for themselves. So the thing that everybody expects history graduates to do is to teach or to um, work in the heritage or museum sector. Um, lots of our graduates do, but that isn't the only route for history graduates. Um, the image on the right here is one of our recent alumni um, who after graduation actually has gone on to develop a career in um, public administration for the NHS. So that's just to give you one example of the sorts of things, the wide variety of things that our students go into. And um, we have very close links with some of our graduates, our alumni, um, and they do come back to, to talk to current students um, to give them the benefit of their experience. So it's really great to keep those, keep those connections going. The thing that we do know for humanities graduates is that the more that students can do whilst they're still studying to think about their intended career path, to uh, develop their plans, to get some experience, um, to make contacts or network within that area, the more successful they are after graduation. And our degree programme um, integrates some of these issues in a really, um, really explicit way so that we encourage students to engage with this whilst they're with us. Um, there are project or placement opportunities integrated into one of the core modules at level five in the second year of our degree. So students get um, what we might call employability skills um, through working on those projects. There's the option of taking a year long placement and turning your three year degree into a four year degree. Um, we've had several students over the last couple of years um, take this up. Um, working in a whole area, a whole variety of different areas, depending on their own individual plans for um, graduation. So some some students have worked with not for profit organisations. Others have worked in museums, um, in law firms, um, a whole range of a whole range of um, situations. As well as the year long placement option, another opportunity is to is to take a life module, the life module, which takes the place of one of the traditional academic modules. Um, where you work on a project or placement and you gain credit for your degree as, as, you, as you do that. For those interested in teaching, there is an opportunity to take up the Introduction to Teaching module. Um, on top of that, there is a whole range of volunteering opportunities um, in the city and beyond in the region. Um, the image on the right here is from one of our recent graduates who um, undertook a number of different um, volunteering opportunities with some of the world class museums that we have within the city in Portsmouth. Um, she gained some um, some really invaluable experience. Um, she's very enthusiastic about what she's learnt and she's written about this for our history blog. Um, the link to the blog you can find in the main course talk 
Um, so there's loads more there where we see um, current students and graduates reflect on the, um, their career path. So that's a really interesting resource um, for you to, to go and look at if you're interested in, in, in this question of, of the what happens afterwards after the history degree. The main message, as I say, is that the history degree makes you highly employable in lots of different areas. Thank you for listening.